Right now on our project, if we enter a recipe ID that does not exist in the API, we'll just get back an empty outline of our page. Now, what would be better is if the recipe does not exist in the API, we return a 404 page not found, as well as handle any other errors that the API might return. Now within the individual recipe file, we can use the error variable that we defined earlier to see if the API has returned any errors. Now, if the error variable is true, then what we can do is we can call the create error function provided by Nuxt. And this allows us to simply create a new error. Now, this function accepts a object, which we're able to define a few properties. The first property that we're gonna define is the status code. And we'll set this equal to the status code that is returned by the error. Now, the second property is going to be the status message, which we can set the status message from the error as well. And now that we have this set up, if we attempt to navigate to a route that does not exist within our API, we'll then get a 404 page not found error. Now, if you do want to override the default error page, you can do so by creating a new page called error within the app directory. And within this file, we're going to want to scaffold out our normal view boilerplate. Now, the error page has a single prop called error, which contains the error information for us to handle. So within our script, what we're gonna to wanna to do is define a prop for the error object. And since we're using TypeScript again, we'll also wanna make sure we type this. So we can import the Nux error type and then assign it to the error prop. Then we can just use the error prop to populate our custom error page. So what we'll do is we can copy over the markup from the GitHub repo, and then we can just replace the static text for the status code along with the status message with values from our error prop. And now if we attempt to navigate to a recipe that does not exist within the API, we'll see our new custom error page.